Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this is your weekly reading for April 1st through the 8th. This is whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Libra. And to the little girl who doesn't want to hear the truth, don't watch me. If you don't have your big girl panties on, then you should click off right now. Transformation. This is the death card, Libra. Big changes are on the horizon. My last reading was it's over. And uh, some little girl didn't want to hear it. What does death say? This is the death card. Jennifer, please don't speak the truth. I can't hear it. Stop. She said, stop, just stop. The very first card that came out is death. What does it mean? What does death mean? My last reading was labeled it. So little girl, it's over. Time to move on. I'm sorry the rest of you guys have to put up with this. But she was a Libra. And I understand that many of you have already moved on. Then this reading is not for you. Some of you have already went through this transformation and you've started your new journey. You've already moved on and you're bringing peace and harmony back to your life. You're leaving the trouble behind and you're restoring balance and harmony and peace back to your life. Balance is being restored here for very, very many of you. You're taking action. You're letting it be over. For many of the Libras watching this, you aren't close. Many of you are. Many of you have regained the structure or you are working on regaining the structure, getting bringing back stability and security. You're taking the lead. You're being the boss in your own life. You're bringing back control. You're taking control. You could be leaving behind somebody that was in control of you. Accepting the truth. Somebody that is watching this has accepted the truth. They see the truth. They have woken up. This is the judgment card. This is absolution. This is hearing the call and take and answering the call. The call has been answered. I am moving on. And I think that you are being recognized for the progress you have made. This is the Six of Wands. I think there's some secrets that are being revealed or you are finally accepting the truth. The, the, the stuff that you already know. 
secrets. These are both about secrets, this one and this one. But this came out reversed. This, the, the secrets have been revealed. Okay, you know the truth. And I feel that many of you are accepting the truth and you are ready for this new beginning. Many of you are starting on a new journey. And this new journey is bringing you peace and harmony. And it's restoring your faith. Twos are about faith and trust. You know, the thing is, is that you guys... I'm going to just pick it the rest of the cards. Then we're going to go down the past, present, future. And I'm going to zoom it in. I'm trying to keep these to a shorter length. So, Anyhow, um, the thing is, is the truth comes through solitude. So I feel as though you guys have finally accepted the truth of a situation. You have awoken up. You know, you have woken up, you have accepted the call, you hear the call, you are listening to the call, your intuition is giving you the answers, you, you are hearing the truth, you're seeing the situation clearly now, this did come out reversed, I mean, but I did turn it. So some of you are, some of you are not. Some of you are not seeing the situation clearly, I turned it. Some of you are, okay? Some of you are accepting the truth, some of you are still in this period of contemplation, some of you have already moved out of this period of contemplation contemplation and you're headed towards victory and success okay I feel as though you know your hard work pays off you guys have made a lot of progress in restoring balance and getting your life back on track I feel like there there's an end of a situation here. In which you are going to be rewarded. You are going to be rewarded for letting it end. Okay, you are going to be rewarded for accepting the truth of this ending. Okay. I think somebody is, I mean, there's a lot of peace and harmony here, too. I want to know what this Three of Pentacles is right here. Three of Pentacles, this is, this can also be angelic guidance. The Three of Pentacles can be. You could be receiving angelic guidance at this time, but I feel as though this Three of Pentacles is more about togetherness. I think you're going to come together with somebody else because you have transformed. You've let something end. Of course. There's still insecurities here though. Feeling left out in the cold. Ah, <sighs> wish fulfillment. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope. But it's reverse. Damn it. I turned it around. Okay, so there's a lack of a lesson learned here. Somebody doesn't want to step over the finish line. I think you guys are still working. You're making progress on moving on. You're making progress on moving on and restoring the hope and peace and harmony in your life. It's not quite over yet. There's still some insecurities here. But I think you are being recognized or you should be recognized for all the hard work that you have done. In letting this go. That's probably what this is. Is that you guys have been going through some sort of transformation as you regain structure and stability in your life. It's like the structure and the stability is coming back to your life, but it's a process, right? So I feel like many of you have accepted the truth and you are releasing. You are releasing and starting a new journey, but you know, it doesn't happen overnight. So I feel like. You know, patience is needed here because it takes time for growth, right? That's is what this is what has happened. But while this is happening, you guys are starting to have hope again. You're starting to 
get out there. You're starting to work together with other people and be open to communicating and making some compromises here because this is cooperation and compromising. I feel like you guys are so, so close to stepping over the finish line. This came out, this is the world card. It came out reversed, but you haven't done it yet, okay? I feel like you guys are very, very close to stepping over the finish line, but you're not quite there yet. You haven't quite got to where you need to be, all right? Because there's still some insecurities here and feeling like I'm left out in the cold. But whatever's happening is leading to wish fulfillment. You have it here twice. Okay? Accepting the truth leads to wish fulfillment and a new beginning. But remember, this card was reversed. In order to have the new beginning, you have to truly, truly, truly accept the truth fully. And that takes patience. And that takes healing. And that takes work. It all, another meaning of the temperance card is restraint. It takes restraint, okay? So I feel like many of you are slowly moving out of the troubled waters. You're slowly moving away from something. Some of you have already been there. I hear you, okay? Some of you are not. And I think that right now, you're very, very close. You're very close to victory and success, okay? Some of you are here. Some of you have mastered your emotions and your, well, you are headed in the right direction. This is the chariot. You guys are headed in the right direction. You have made a lot of progress and it should be rewarded and it should be recognized. You need to look at this as a time of inspiration and step over the finish line and start over. Start your new journey. New journey, new journey. It's time for you guys to start over on a new path and release the past. This is releasing the past. It is. And that is when you accept the truth. It's labeled truth. When you accept the truth and move on. When you accept the truth and move on, that's when your victory will come. So many of you are just about there. You're just about at the end of this turmoil. Some of you are not. And didn't I say dreams? Oh, I said angels. Yeah, it was angels. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Like I said, your angels are trying to help you. It's the truth. I'm going to read this again. Your angels are trying to help you. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Your angels, and this can signify somebody from the other side as well. So you have angels and someone from the other side that is working in your on your in, on your behalf. Now this could be a father figure or a grandfather. So I feel like, and it could be somebody. I do. I think that now I'm starting to get the goosebumps. I feel like there is somebody that has passed away, could be a father or a grandfather, because this has passed away as well, that is, is working with you. There's also angels here too, that are trying to help you to move on. They are giving you signs. You're receiving signs, 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 signs. You are. Are you listening? Are you paying attention?
So Libra, I feel like you guys have made a lot of progress. You're headed in the right direction and it leads to victory and success. I feel like you are being guided by somebody from the other side, angels and maybe somebody that's even passed away, maybe a father figure, a male that is trying to help you move on from a situation that you have been stuck in. They're trying to restore your hope and restore your faith. They're helping, trying to help you complete this lesson, okay? This came out reverse. Remember, it's the world card. I flipped it because I'm keep trying to keep this positive. They're trying to restore your hope so that you can complete this lesson and step on to the new journey. Start working on the next one. There's huge transformation here. The chariot card is a transformation card as well. Many of you are going through major life changes that are guided from above. Are you listening? Anyway, that's what I have, Libra. Talk to you later.